Oh, hello there. I didn't even know you were coming over. I'm so glad you're here today. Today, I was just about to start making tiramisu. I have my favorite tiramisu spatula right here. And it occurred to me that making tiramisu and investing have a lot in common. And so today, I'm gonna to talk with you about both things and also show you how you can become awesome at whatever you do if you use your tiramisu imagination. Hello, and thank you for stopping by. My name is Jeff, and today I wanna to share with you a tale of two tiramisus. And what this is, is a story about the first time that I made tiramisu and how it turned out, and then the second time I made it, and how much better it was the second time, and why. Now, if this is the first time that you visited this channel, please tap the like button, and also hit subscribe, and that way you will get notifications when I make new videos. So, the real, the real gist of this video is how you can use your imagination to do great things. And I'm gonna tell you this story so that you can see how I used my imagination in making tiramisu to bring it to the next level and how you can use yours to do really great work in whatever it is that you wanna do. Now, have you had tiramisu? Do you even know what, what this is? I should, if you've had it, you know how delicious tiramisu is. But if you've never had it before, then I will just tell you, it's a delicious Italian dessert. Now, I almost said cake, but you bake a cake and tiramisu does not need to be baked. You construct it. I would say you construct it like you would construct a house or a pyramid or just a beautiful wall, a brick wall. And you construct it and it's simple and it's no bake, but you have to choose good ingredients. And that was kind of the mistake I made the first time I made it, was I didn't know enough about the recipe. I didn't know which ingredients mattered and I didn't know, um, you know, the details of how to construct it. So sometimes you kind of have to give it that first try and see how things work out, maybe make some mistakes, and then you can go back at it the next time and do better. So. First of all, tiramisu, Italian word, means pick me up. And um, I think it's the deliciousness of the dessert, but also the fact that it has, uh, it has some cocoa in it, it's got a little bit of coffee, and it's got these delicious ladyfinger cookies. It's all gives you a nice boost of energy and inspiration when you eat it. So um, I'll just give you the basics, okay? Uh, it starts with a layer of ladyfingers cookies across the bottom. And these lady fingers, they're just like rectangular kind of cookies that are sort of crispy and they're also very absorbent. It's important because you actually dip them very um, briefly into coffee before you lay them down in this foundation. And then once you've done that, you add another layer, which is a light cream layer called uh, zabayone. It's Italian. It's made up of mascarpone cheese and um, you can use egg whites or you can use whipped cream and um, it's lightly sweetened. And then you use another layer of the lady fingers and then a final layer of the zabayone, the cream layer. And then uh, you put it in the refrigerator a few hours. When you're done, you dust it with, uh, with some dark cocoa and you're all done. Put it in the fridge. That's the key. The longer it stays in the fridge, the more the flavors kind of combine. Now, the first time I made tiramisu, I just went to the store, I got the recipe online, I went to Trader Joe's, I bought the ingredients, came home and made it. And it was, it was decent, okay? It was pretty good. I mean, the, the thing about it is, everything that goes into it is so delicious that in the end, it's gonna be amazing. But there are degrees of amazingness. And the next time I made it, I made some improvements. What were the improvements? Well, I used better coffee, used espresso. I got better cocoa powder. I got French dark cocoa powder. And um, I used a really good rum. I mixed a little bit of rum in with the espresso when I dipped the lady fingers in. It was like magical. And um, all of these little details in the ingredients you research and, and how you incorporate them make a difference in the final product. So. 
I don't want to get too much into all the details because this isn't a cooking video, but I do want to say that the difference between the first result, which was decent, and then the next result, which was, you know, off the charts amazing, was in the time to research which ingredients would taste better and kind of how to combine them in a way that made the whole final product kind of really, really good. Okay, now why does this matter? Well, I feel like using your imagination and spending time to research the right ingredients matters not just if you're making tiramisu, but in anything that you're doing. So the one thing that tiramisu and investing have in common is that both start with a nice solid foundation. With the tiramisu, you wanna have a nice, even solid base layer of lady fingers. And once you have that in place, then you can add your next cream layer and then another layer of lady fingers and then another cream layer. And then you can add the dusting of cocoa on top. But until you have that nice solid first foundational layer, you really don't have anything to build on. And I would say the same thing is true of investing. You need a nice solid foundation of a diversified group of stocks in an index fund or in an ETF. And once you have that in place, then you can start constructing your masterpiece. There's a decent result you can get from just buying the index, which is um, like a passively managed mutual fund that just holds a little bit of everything. And if you want to invest for the long term, we're saying if you have more than 10, 15, 20 years to invest, you can get a perfectly decent result with very little effort, almost no effort, just buying an index fund or an index fund ETF and letting it go. So that's like researching, getting the recipe for tiramisu, buying ingredients and making it. Very little time spent, very little research and a perfectly decent result. But if you wanna bring it next level, you have to spend more time. You have to be thoughtful about which ingredients you pick which stocks you invest in or ETFs. And uh, you also have to be patient because sometimes the price that you want to pay for a certain stock might not be available. You might have to wait uh, several months or even a few years until you get the right price. So there's more time and research and energy that you need to invest in the process, but the potential payoff could be great rather than just decent. So that's what we're talking about. We're talking about minimal effort for decent results, maximal effort for next level results. And um, what I'm gonna be doing on this channel in the next few weeks, in the next few months, is um, it's not gonna just be about investing, it will be about using your imagination in a variety of things. I wanna share stories of things that I've done and experienced and things that I'm doing now. And I want to show how you can also improve your results. But everything's kind of tied together in the way that you use your imagination to bring things to a higher level and to produce something that's excellent, something that's, you know, not just the mediocre, not just the average. And uh, I think it's, it's worth it to me and it's worth it probably to you too, to find ways to be the best version of yourself you can be and provide something for the world in your art and the way you connect with people in ways that are remarkable. And by that, I mean, people will remark about the results, about what you do and how you do it and what your results are, what you make. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. Don't forget to like the video and also subscribe if you want to follow along. And um, I will see you next time. Goodbye.